kind of a the tail end of uh, the uh, time here at the uh, Rat Pad. Yeah. It's kind of a monumental couple of shows we're about to do here. So, um, how did you did, did you see? Was this how you envisioned it shaking out? Like when you started the Brewing Network, what was your idea of how the studio situation was going to shake out? I don't. I don't think I had any idea whatsoever. When I built this studio that we're in now with Doc, I thought uh, we just need a good, comfortable studio that's climate controlled and looks professional for the guests, which I think we succeeded in doing. But there's still something about having it in your house, week in and week out. And weekend. And weekend. That, I don't know, it gets old. Every time there's a festival, every time we get a new shipment of merch, my whole house turns into a dumpster. And so I'm sad to leave the Rat Pad. I've been here a long time. I really do love this studio. It's cozy and comfortable, and there's a lot of good times in here, but it's time to move on. So what can people look forward to uh, once we're in the new digs? Is it going to sound different? Will people know? They can look forward to several weeks of shitty audio. While we fix all the problems yet again, every time you move a studio, it's a pain in the ass. But on the high note, they can look forward to better video. Uh, it's a larger space that we can uh, do multiple cameras in, and uh, people will be able to see Bevo instead of just the back of my mug or other you know creepy things. Uh, I think an enhanced video experience will be the best part. I hope to, uh, we always try to up our audio experience too, so I hope to do that. Um, you know, but mostly I, I just think it's a it's a home for the BN to grow is what we're looking for because we're bursting at the seams. Doc, what were some of the uh, homebrews you had in uh, tonight? Uh, I had uh, American oh. Standard, which is basically a, a Coors clone, uh, kind of a light oh, version gracious. of that my uh, my uh, strong okay. lager. I have it. And then uh, I had a, my uh, uh, Belgian Golden Strong. And was that the 11.5% one? Yeah, that was the one that you yeah. were stuck on last. How was that? It was phenomenal, man. I cannot believe that was an 11.5% Yeah, and, and, and it seems like right now all I have is yellow beer. Jeevo, at what age does uh, Abby stop smiling when JP does this kind of stuff? Well, we live near a refinery, so I'm thinking like... Yeah, 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 yeah. 43. I hope never.